In chapter 5 of Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones but all my units have 1 HP, we get another useless healer with Natasha and we can recruit the Myrmidon Joshua. Joshua could potentially be usable as a dodge tank but first we have to recruit him which is easier said than done because not a single one of my units can take a hit from him without dying. This is probably the hardest chapter so far since there's a lot of axe units with attack too high for any of my units to survive a hit as well as the time constraint of visiting all the villages before they are destroyed by brigands. These villages have some fantastic items as well as a guiding ring being awarded if you visit all four of them. Having an actual time constraint makes this chapter much trickier than previous maps where turtling was a valid strategy and I have to use my units well to avoid villages being destroyed. The first attempt I don't quite get things right, having to use Naomi as a meat shield to save loot and asking Franz to dodge a 44 which he blocks with his face resulting in a reset. On the second run I have better luck letting Erica draw in a fighter which she dodges nicely. Vanessa handles the bottom village and with some very careful movement she's able to sneak up to the next village without entering enemy range while Seth deals with the annoying enemies on the right and the brigand reinforcements. This is a bit of a waste of XP but we need that area cleared out quickly if we are going to get our village objective. Vanessa gets her second village and then Seth carries her to safety. The left flank requires a hard push with Gilliam at the head but the axe units can kill him so he requires heavy support from the rest of our squad. Erica gets another level up and Luke gets her first level up which is a beauty. We push push up the left flank and Vanessa flies across to get the third village while still staying out of enemy range and Seth runs up to bonk this axe unit so that everyone else can advance up while Franz goes and gets the fourth and final village. I did think it would be harder to get all the villages but the second lot of brigand reinforcements has only just turned up by the time I visited the last one between Vanessa's flying utility and Seth's defense it didn't really prove too tricky. I unequip Seth here so he doesn't keep stealing XP and I give another level to Arta who I think will become one of my most useful units for his 1-2 attack range plus slayer and staff utility after promotion. I tried to use this trick again but I messed up on the numbers and Seth actually faced death here. Thankfully he dodged the 35 and then I was able to give the experience to some of my squishier units. I then mess up again and put Seth in Joshua's range where he could be killed but thankfully a soldier comes and stands in the way so I don't get punished for my mistake. Thankfully Joshua has a unique AI where he will move to attack all units except Natasha so I rescue drop her into range and then recruit him on the next turn. Even if I don't use Joshua much in this run, at the very least the killing edge is a very nice bonus. The boss Sar is very tricky to deal with since he has an attack of 17 which is too high for any of my units to take a hit without dying and he has 1-2 range with his javelin so I cannot attack without risking death. I do have units like Erica that could stand in the forest tile and have decent avoid against him but the idea of resetting the whole chapter at this point from a low percentage hit just doesn't sound fun so I go for a slightly different strategy. Instead of risking one of my good units and a subsequent reset I instead give an armor slayer to Joshua who doesn't have the best avoid but I don't really plan on using him so I just decide to chance it and if he does die then I'll live with it. All of my worrying is for nothing though with Joshua dodging the 47 and killing the boss to end the chapter. I thought this chapter would be harder than it ended up being mainly because of the village component but with some strategic movement and Seth's amazing stats it just ended up being kind of easy and we get our guiding ring at the end of the map. Full disclosure the next chapter is gonna make me cry. See you in the next one.